Hello and welcome to the Outer Worlds, a new space RPG by Obsidian, and those guys always make the best RPGs. I love them, I love RPGs, and they make awesome RPGs every time. They're not looking to make a new a Battle Royale, they just make awesome games. And they also have, these games also have amazing replay value, and I suspect Outer Worlds is no different. And I'm especially happy to see Outer Worlds in a sci-fi setting, because I feel like many of the uh good rpgs lately were based in a fantasy setting which i totally love don't get me wrong i love it but yeah i'm happy to see uh the sci-fi team kind of coming back so let's go yeah new game <clears throat> uh supernova uh is the difficulty we're gonna go with i usually yeah i i like to go with the hardest difficulty uh, just just for the challenge sake, but like it's also very important for immersion because yeah the player should do you know you should have a lot of choices but the world should respond they should have a chance because if you if you play it on like normal like no offense if you want to play it like that but I don't want to play it like I'm a god and I can just do whatever I want I don't want that experience I want that experience where I I have to fit in this world and my actions have very serious consequences. So, yeah, let's go on Supernova. This, yeah, I'm, I'm really worried about companions can die permanently. Because that just breaks my heart. Even when I try to be evil in games, I just can't do it. I know that I can't do it because it just becomes a stupid story of me, I don't know, being like a angry teenager and, uh, and just like converting because I can't hurt people. At least, especially Why companions. When prosperity awaits you in the stars, come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Finium Vernus, Vernon Velus, Fugitive. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Hundreds of thousands of colonists? That's that's quite a lot though. That's that's a lot of people. Alright. <clears throat> Making a character and I have an omission. I already like a, a little bit looked into this. Uh try to make a character because else we would just be spending uh probably some days here. Because that's kinda how it goes. But yeah, like the system is very intuitive. You can just make whatever you like. But uh, my preferred playstyle in these kind of games is the, the talker guy. So we're gonna be uh, prioritizing persuasion. Uh, or the social skills like persuasion, lying, intimidate. So we have charm here. Probably intimidate less so, but uh, persuasion and lying. Uh, probably uh, quite a bit. Because <laughs> I, I don't mind lying. I'm, I'm not really the, the lawful good good type. I'm more like a, a chaotic neutral type. So, yeah, we're just gonna play it like that. Or maybe like chaotic good if uh, I really like the people. Uh, so, let's go. <clears throat> I don't really want to go with strength too much. I want to prioritize uh, non-combat skills. 
And you also, I read one uh, in a generation mind. Rely on companions. So there we go. Average in everything, but really good intelligence and charm. Exactly like me, right? So yeah. But we can go over these. So temperament is like mainly improves the health regen and of course affects six skills. And uh, all these uh, attributes affect six skills. And uh, yeah, you can also put them into you negative, need a but navigational computer to find your I don't know if I'm comfortable doing that uh, first playthrough. And also, the game tends to uh, encourage you to uh, put points into one instead of like spreading it out, because when you put points into one, uh, oftentimes the bonus is the same. If I had your brains, but if you go ago, to uh, free, then case. you you get a better bonus, and also. If you put one point in it, you get three skill points. Two points in it, you get four skill points, four Finally, extra. And if I you put three, with. then you get five extra skill points. So if you just spread it out on all of them, then you would have a more well-rounded character, possibly. But uh, you would have less skill points technically to work with. And I suspect as we get companions, you don't really need a character that does everything. You would rather have a character that does few things, uh, like at least at an above average level. <clears throat> and can't save your body, having the main character as a, as a talker brain. is usually quite important because that also affects. Uh, sometimes the main character is the only one that can talk. That's not necessarily going to be the case, but uh, usually it affects companion recruitment as well. So, yeah, I, I like to make the main character either the, well, usually the, the charismatic one. But, of course, you can uh, fine-tune your experience however you like. Like, you can definitely, you can play these games like a, a solo killer, like, uh, just walk around and uh, sneak around and kill people. You, if you, like, pump strength and dexterity, that's a nice thing to consider. You can up your melee DPS, like, by, like, 70% straight with that, which is crazy. But, I just go with my character. So, uh, these are the skill... skills? Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, these are the skills. I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. Uh, we're not gonna go with melee. We're gonna go with dialogue. Someone with the talent for exploiting insecurities. Yeah. We're just gonna talk a lot, and also we have a decent tech and some some hacking skills. So this is not too bad. We might be able to use that. But the weakness of this character, also, I'm I'm getting a little technical here, but uh, I'll I'll try to roleplay a lot more when we are ordering game. Uh, the weakness of this character that it, we very much can. rely on companions. But as I as I read that companions can die, this actually increases companion health by two seventy. Uh, four, and they also have better damage. So again, I'm not looking to do a solo playthrough. I just want uh, to make friends and uh, experience the game with companions. I think that's that's clearly the most fun way to play. So yeah, we're not even gonna, gonna pick up uh, a defensive or uh, uh, aggressive or just some sort of fighting skill. We're not doing that, and uh, we're going uh, dialogue as the support skill. Aptitude. This doesn't really affect too much. This is more like a flavor thing. Former dirt and raid damage received, three percent less. Doesn't really matter. We can go with determination, You're which so much more than your uh, gives the profession. the companions a plus one uh, to health, and also it doesn't give us a limited backstory because we can kick. Uh, I'll pick like cashier. It's like sure okay, I did that. Subtract. Okay, persuasion plus one, fine. But I feel like this leaves so more to the more imagination. Than your designated um, profession. Leaves our our backstory more open ended. <clears throat> we came with a ship called Hope, uh, with a bunch of hopeless uh, colonists that got abandoned, and and we now got lucky. So making character. Uh, we can try randomize, but I already tried that a little bit before, and it tends to give me like characters that are a little weird looking, and maybe hard to identify with. Like, look at this person. This could be like a, a modern day hipster. 
Nice colors, man. I don't know. No. 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 I don't I don't think so. It's like look like a werewolf. Okay. I, I could see this guy in like Fallout. Uh just a dirty scavenger. I mean like fine. I mean like if he changed his eye color, like this could be okay. But that's not what we want. And uh, uh let's just go default. I, I don't I'm not gonna go with default. And I think uh duh, 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 duh. yeah. Uh, we're gonna go with female because last time I played an RPG, I think I was male. So uh, I, I I tend to pick males a little bit more when I was uh, when I'm making videos because uh, you might be able to identify with it a little bit more because like my character is male, I have a male voice obviously, and maybe that's more immersive. But let's just go with female here. Uh, pick a face. That's fine. It's fine too. Uh, that looks a little. No, these, these look fine. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go with it. If anything, I just... I, what I really don't like about this character so far is the hair. That's it's, uh, straight out of a uh, uh, 12 year old's uh, dream, uh, I guess. 12 year old boy's uh, dream haircut. Uh, that looks just complete, uh, well, it looks great. It definitely looks great on the 12-year-old boys, but this is not great. This, this is crap. We're not having that. Also, the eye color of red. Uh, okay, fine, but I kind of want something maybe more Im immersive. Okay, like, like the bright whites. You can go with that. Like, that's cool, but uh, that's not what I'm going to go with. We're just going to go with something maybe more... Uh, realistic. Like, let's go with green. I'm not gonna touch more uh, a lot of these settings because if I if I start touching things, uh, she might start looking like a man, and also uh, there's a pretty high chance that she starts looking like an alien. So let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. Custom faces are gonna be good enough. Okay, hair. This is what we need to change. Uh, I find this a little too dark. My bro style. Yeah, we don't not need to change that. Just just change the hair. Uh, okay. It could be on either gender. Uh, I believe the characters share the haircuts. So guys are, and women kind of have the same thing. This is a haircut again that you would most likely find with a man. Uh, actually, I would like her to look like she just didn't leave the stylist five seconds ago. So that would be great. Like, um, this seems a little, again, extra again. Mm, maybe. That's a lot of hair. Um, do we want to go with the mop? Maybe. Uh, this, this haircut a little bit brings attention to her uh, uh, landing strip of a forehead. So maybe not. Not that I'm really against it, just maybe... Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is more of a uh, male balding haircut uh, than something you would see on a woman. Oh, we got the bun here. I would like a ponytail haircut, but uh, obviously we don't have those. Uh, can we just change the color to something lighter? Because I'm kind of having a tough time seeing it uh, with this black background and what the f like this is can we have something immersive again <laughs> oh black uh sure we can do black uh, i guess okay anything other than black it's a little immersive oh we got brown here yes Oh yeah, that, that looks that looks good. Like reddish, like yellow. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe go with the reddish one, or maybe the black. Who knows? Uh, yep, that looks fine. Uh, I kind of want something longer, maybe. Wow, no long haircuts. Do we have to go with the mop? Uh, okay, I'm a little surprised. Do we just go with the mop? Maybe we'd go with the mop. Oh, uh, that might be 
better. The black. No, this is not exactly the black. Okay, whatever. Let's just get started. I like the brown. Okay, let's go with the mob. Facial hair. Uh, we're not having that. Eyebrow style. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> let's go with the one. Features. Makeup. Uh, maybe I don't want that. Uh, wait, what about her face? Can we change that? So we're using the five face. Uh, no. This haircut doesn't seem to suit her as much as the short one. Okay. Oh, I kind of like this. This seems to suit the hairstyle better. This is a weird thing to say because you would say it the other way. Not like, oh, uh, you're whatever. <laughs> you can't change your face to suit the haircut. Oh, that seems okay as well. Oh, these faces are nice. I think the free might be better. I think this kind of works a little better with the haircut. Because that's how it works in games. Like we are picking a face uh, for the haircut. Anyway, this looks uh, fine. I like this. I like this a lot. She has that uh, girl next door look to her, which is perfect for uh, what I want. We're gonna be... Well, basically we are hopeful colonists lost. I have the same... First of all, they don't look great. I don't care. Like, makeup is not what I want. Age? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young. I believe the uh, the slider. It looks fine, but it's not amazing. Yeah, this looks great. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Next. What's my name? Uh, I'm kind of tempted to give uh, to name her Hope or just something dumb, but actually I, I kind of want to uh, take uh, role playing her seriously. So with the well, we're not gonna name her Hope, but we might name her Lights, you know, just because it's a very hope hopeless world we left, and imagine imagine the desperation of the people. Where they sent, I don't know, they, they have like, like at least like 200,000 uh, colonists because uh, he said thousand, hundreds of thousands, at least 200,000 colonists on a ship with, with no guarantees apparently and they are just not even uh, have a chance to prove themselves. They're just like left in space to die. So, yeah, I'm gonna be light. <laughs> this a little bit uh, reminds me of Light Yagami. <laughs> but, who knows? Maybe she'll turn evil. You guys will... This is cool, because... Maybe we're gonna be the light of this world, or we're just gonna be... Very evil. <laughs> Could be either. Uh, however I feel like it. Let's go next. Summary! Uh, very smart and very charming. Sounds like me. But I'm not a woman. Never mind though. Uh, yeah, we suck at fighting. We really suck at fighting. We don't even have access to the TTD location hit effects, whatever that is. <laughs> so, so uh, let's hope to level up soon. So let's have access to that. I want to level up the long guns. So obviously this character is not going to be a character that's going to use a wide variety of weapons. Most likely. But this is going to be the character that talks to people inspires people it just it's just gonna be the heart of the group hopefully heart of the group that doesn't die <laughs> let's go looks to be your lucky day my friend Not likely, bootlickers. <gasps> Initiate skip jump. We're gone! 
Wow, you risk quite a lot to save us. But why? Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 90%. <sighs> Skip drive. Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! So we have a chance to turn him in if he if he really want to maybe not now but later remember the hope so maybe they didn't leave us there can you hear me intentionally we just thing like, working? came ah, out of hyperspace too are. early now uh, where were we oh yes the smuggler his name is hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site he's to be your uh, chauffeur so to speak and not to worry i'm told he's a specialist Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. Nice. I've also outfitted you with a <laughs> simple companion. wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Why does he so care so much about the colonists? And also seemingly has no personal relation to me. He just busted me out for no reason maybe he thought i was hot no re i don't know better keep an eye on that guy but yeah i'm a little grateful ah you've landed good hawthorne should be close by what in law's name is that him oh that idiot I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. <laughs> oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh, can we loot him? Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better what? you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Move. We can't loot him, apparently. Jump over obstacles. I can I can do the jump just fine. Fine. But this obviously this place is not for the expert gamers like myself, but for the total noobs who never played the PC game before. But also, uh quite chose of the game. While we're doing this. I'm not sure about that. It's cool. Cool though. Um Left control to avoid detection. Ooh. Adreno. Detection by who? While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Alright. Hitting in the grass. And we see some uh, very fabulous dogs over there. Uh, one of them called Timid Kennedy, and the other one is called. Timid Cabinet as well. Wow. Imagine that. Must be one hell of a confusion. 
uh, when it comes to uh, birthday parties and whatever. Just anytime they're together. Uh, don't worry about me, Timmy Kevin. Oh shit. Tengu is angry. Hey. Okay, maybe don't get killed. <laughs> as fun as it is to uh, like maybe screw around. Oh crap. Does he want my ass? Okay, may maybe just play it safe because we're basically playing it on hardcore. God. What? What happened? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh, look at that! A little cave gecko. And they're not even super afraid of me. Oh shit. Um. I do have a feeling I'm gonna break my legs. <laughs> yeah, low health! Use emergency medicine inhaler to heal. Each activation costs one adreno. Wow, how lucky it is that I just found one adreno. Well, I did that. Guess that's the money. <gasps> Mister! Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. What? <clears throat> Sit still. I'll patch you up. I said, what? Are you saying slogans? I would have liked that if you that you uh, just introduce yourself. But, uh, fine. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. How are you feeling? That's that's what really matters. Not that you're bleeding out. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. I see. You managed. You, you hope to take on marauders, multiple, by yourself. That's just stupid. That's not how you do things. You get a group together. You always want to have uh, an advantage of. Yeah, that, that's just how you do it. Like this is pretty obvious stuff, uh, Guard Pel Pelham. Hey, you seem like a nice uh, young lad, <coughs> but you're kind of dumb. Uh, what's this about uh, marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, but are they gonna wise up to your plan? Like they're gonna see a bunch of explosive barrels at the entrance of the cave? Um... I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Hmm. Someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. It seems like lie is just worse than persuasion now. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Um, no, no, no. Persuasion is the one I like the most. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, okay. you can have my saber too for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you want to die saying slogans? That's gotta be the worst death. I'm not even gonna... No, even if you were dying now, and seemingly you're not, I, I would not mercy you if you just uh, said slogans, because no one deserves to die like that. Uh, do you know anything about the hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Don't worry, I'm not a Cleo whore. So, can you tell me where I am? <clears throat> you hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Salt tuna? Wow, okay, thanks. You calling me dense? But you're the one who tried to take a marauders by yourself, then handed 
maybe a very friendly passerby, your gun and your saber. I'm I'm off. I hope you're gonna be just fine. Ooh, the game wants me to shoot him in the head. <laughs> oh, I'm so tempting, but I'm not gonna do it. In your face game, Tartarus sauce, uh, Mac pick, pre-sliced bread, in a bag? Okay. Pick up fast ration pill. Oh, we're gonna need that because we're playing a supernova, so we need to eat and drink and uh, probably not piss. But maybe we need some loving too. Okay, guard pa Oh, Mac pick. Holy shit, look at the amount of bullets I got. I got 9 in the chamber and 102 extra. Wow. You handed me... I, I can kill everybody with this. I'm, I don't know. I'm just assuming it does some damage. I got two spacebar. I'm just trying to look at what we got up... On the... Up left of the screen. Oh, you. those are my... Oh, it shows my uh, hunger, my thirst, uh, my need to sleep. I don't know about that uh, space bar number two. Oh, F is the heal. There's my level. Oh, we got a compass. All right, and we can't save. We cannot save in Supernova, which is again one of my concerns. Damn it, my ears! Oh. Don't worry, old man. Okay. Don't worry, Palnum. What the hell? What is this? TTD, Tactical Time Dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Uh, pressing TTD uh, button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as uh, take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Okay, so this is basically what Bethesda should have done with uh, Fallout. They just went for that stupid, very, well, you know, in, in a way, that's the only way to, it, I don't know. You think what you want, but they implemented location damage, like uh, the thing. Like I don't necessarily have to explain it. It it just it just doesn't work so well. I, at least I feel like it took me out of the game. I know that some people like it. It just wasn't one of them, and I didn't use it myself. So I can slow them. How many headshots do you need? So I used up all my TTD. I do have a feeling that someone else is around here. Wow, I got into a, a scrape right away. Uh, bit cartridge. I'm not sure what that is. Hold, E take all, and we can just take all. Okay, light ammo. So maybe I don't have to be as conservative in my ammo because, as you guys saw, I was just trying to go for headshots. Hmm. Hacking and picking locks. <clears throat> I love this. Your hacking and lock pink skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mac picks are used to break open locks and bypass uh, shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. I love you. I love you, Obsidian. Obsidian just makes the best solutions because they know what's fun. Because the Skyrim solution kind of gives you a little bit of a mini game of like, you know, just screwing around with the door, but it's just not very exciting and many times it's just like a save and load uh, situation i i like this i'm not a huge fan of mini games like this because oftentimes it just ends up uh, uh being repetitive and lame 
bunch of manners. Isn't this bananas? We're just gonna call them bananas. Macpick. So, do I have enough? No, I don't have enough Macpick. And probably I'm really bad at lockpicking. That's a Macpick too. Zero G brew. Karmic and Grease. Fish sticks. Three sliced bread. Fast ration pill. Uh, one thing that I have to watch out for, and uh, this is going to be one of the, uh, the consequences of my choice, is that... Hold F to break down? Uh, pff, not doing that. Is that I don't have as much uh, carry weight, which is certainly going to uh, play a role. And I was kind of tempted to go for a little bit of strength, but I, 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 ho I kind of hope that as we get companions, carry weight is not going to be a huge deal. Uh, what? You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Take care of your T and L weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay. So, I have a light pistol, and I'm pretty sure that these are identical. Deals bleed damage. So, we might want to use the sword. Okay, sure. Escape. So, one thing we might want to do is that when we run out of uh, uh, the clip, we just switch to another pistol. And if they get close, <laughs> throw it in the face. <laughs> right into the campfire. Alright, let's pick it. Five seconds. And this also means that uh, with this system, it's always gonna cost us something to uh, acquire these, just to open these containers. It's not gonna be free, well, unless probably it's a uh, very low level. I, I think I saw a skill that allows us to ignore the cost, but it's only for very low level ones. Ha! I got this stupid ha! staff, but it deals higher DPS. The swing damage is 51, 36. I think this swings faster. That might be more relevant for us. As long as 36 kills them, better. Ooh. Okay. Scared him with the shooting. Okay, we're not gonna be super almost conservative. Oh my god, I almost died. Use a healing thingy. Is someone coming behind me? So we can take all some mining helmet. Uh Okay, <clears throat> armor management. Drag armor or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, tag them as junk, drop them. So we got a new helmet. Which makes us look stupid. Oh, well, actually, we look like some kind of space ninja. Spacer's choice. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, skill bonus. Tech skills. One-handed melee. Okay, so actually we have a bonus for the sword now. But we kind of suck at using melee. And also I have no strength for those. What we picked up. That's cool. We're just finding the same stuff. Uh, where's the guy? Sentry Saber. Just take it all. Might need to lower the sensitivity a little bit. It's it's okay. But I might lower it a little bit. I can live with that. Now. Just if I want to be a dead eye, I might need to lower it. Ooh, a ship. Is this the ship of the guy? Oh crap. Oh. Is there a way to holster weapons? Oh fuck. 
F is not the one. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna go walk up to them with my pistol drawn. What's up, guys? Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Um, sure. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in a veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You find everyone who is not using your landing pads. You're right. So, Spacer's Choice. Maybe I don't like him. It's just a landing violation, let it go. I'm not gonna say that. So I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in a Yes! Yes! I saved that guy! He's... he's okay, but he probably needs help ASAP. Really? How is he? He's dead. <laughs> I guess this would be awkward if I killed him. He'll make it. I help him with the pain. Still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Oh, that's kind of indicating that uh, she's a moron too. No, no, no. He'll make it. Ah, uh, she's good. I mean, Shouldn't he's good. Done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. What? We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. What the hell? Just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath, stretch my legs. Some. I love this. <laughs> a little bit sounds like idiocracy in a way. Like, of course, uh, it's. Uh, a lot less crazy, but like saying the the slogan all the time. <laughs> uh, do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Ooh. Well, sometimes management's real good at cost benefit analysis, but seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's going to be fucking laminated. Here what? we go. Okay, we're going. Oh, that's a marauder guy. Wait. Why do I have a feeling that it deals less damage farther away? Oh. I don't want a friendly fire situation here. Where's the marauder? Okay. I'm just taking their stuff, hope you don't mind. He, I mean, she really does not care about her uh, colleague, maybe. Oh my god. Hell, so dark. Stealth skills. I like. I believe it. So dark. Okay, very open field here, and I need to get in the ship. Suppose the other guy is already in there. Oh, hold! Welcome aboard, Apex Please Transport. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay. Uh, that's great, so I Marauder, will just check. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Yeah, hey, I'm your friend. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. <laughs> hey there. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. <clears throat> uh, what are you going to do? Self-destruct? Let's just not taunt the ship into using whatever she can. I'm not here to mis misappropriate anything. I already stole a little bit. Yeah, I'm not here to steal. I detect an elevated heart rate, <clears throat> indicating dishonesty. 
Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Uh-oh. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, Not in three, space. two, one. You realize you're on ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express <laughs> disappointment. I need to get the ship in the air so you can uh, jet this on me uh, in the space there. Is this Hawthorne ship? Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. Alright, let's not get too graphic. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, <laughs> then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh. I get it. You need to be. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, and you can fly. I love it. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, <laughs> our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. <clears throat> Where am I supposed to find something like that? Engineering 5? That's probably the highest I got. I'll doubt I'll find a part like that. Just sitting in a garage. Uh, more like giving gratitude. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. <laughs> this cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? I understand. Yes, yeah, Seda, I got it, thanks. I hope no one else figures out this uh, a little loophole. It's like, are you, are you Captain Hawthorne? Yes, I am. Well, I guess I, guess I take orders from you. Ah, no, I like it. Yes, yeah, so I got it, thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I'm sorry I died before. Oh, level 2. Uh, tab, skill points and perks available. You've been promoted! <clears throat> Congratulations, you've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Uh, leveling up increases your health points. Uh, gives you points to upgrade your skills as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you will be upper management material in no time. Uh, well, okay. Skill improvements. Wow. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock uh, bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skills passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Okay, good to know. So I have 10 points available. How do we do this? Oh, I see. So I can put two points into ranged, for example. Shit, I can't take it away. <laughs> so we can put two points into range, which will enable unlock TTD location hit effects. Of whatever that is going to be. We can also put two points into tech, which unlocks a second drug mixing slot for the inhaler 
very questionable. Very questionable. Oh. You can also try to put points in the leadership. But that's actually not helpful right now. But I can only get 10 points. Hmm. Good question. What should I put it into? I think going with ranged is the most sensible option. Dialogue is a little far away from uh, seeing any upgrades. Uh, pff, seems like, yeah. Stealth. I don't know if you want to go with that. I have a bonus for stealth now. I can I can increase that. Leadership. Leadership is not super important to increase. But we might want to do this. So... Next uh, chance we level up, we can uh, go and go up to 40, which will give us uh, the special uh, bonuses. And for now, we're just going to go with uh, gun skills. So it's going to be like 26, 14. So it's, it's not completely hopeless. Uh, so we're just going to apply that. Uh, you will unable to undo point allocations after confirmation. Yeah, fine. Companion abilities. You can command <clears throat> your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy. You're targeting C and V. Okay, I might rebind that. Uh, sure. Game's telling me a lot of information. Uh, welcome to perk selection on the screen. You can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. That's kind of like Fallout 2-like. <clears throat> you can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw, acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Okay, so every 10 level-ish. Wow. So basically the game might be like uh, 30 levels. Uh, you've grown healthier in your time outside status. Holy shit! 50% bonus base health? Wait, base health? Am I just mistaken about that? That sounds awesome. Tactical time dilation lasts longer. Surely this is normal. Um, I don't really care about that too much. It, that's not a significant bonus, but oh my god! Is that really 50% more health? Sometimes you are the only person you can trust, and that's okay, you deal increased damage when adventuring alone. Uh, this is for the loner, I don't want, I don't want that. Years of Adrena time, uh, use have uh, left a permanent pep in your step. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, walk speed is very important for melee and ranged. Uh, you can uh, kite enemies in ranged, and in melee, and also, this could be extremely useful when just walking around. I don't know, I might take it. You're not slow, you're just fast. Wait, walk speed? All right. Oh, so this is not as good as I think, because... Uh, yeah, walk. So when you're aiming, uh, you're, you're kind of walking. So this would help a little bit with that. And this would help... So this might help uh, a range fighter. But it wouldn't really help us move around town. Uh, or just whatever the game area is. Cheetah might help with that. Uh, but it's not going to help us in combat. Still, it's... Well, I don't know. You take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. So, okay. Precision. Companion crit chance. Very interesting. And apparently we might need to pick, pick like 10 of these. Vendor prices go down by 20%. XP from companion kills. Wow. So this could be actually a really good combo uh, with what we got. As long as the companions are actually good at killing. If they suck at killing, then, then no, this is bad. But if they are good at killing, then this is really good. Traveler, you become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born as a ca cargo hauler. Oh, Alex, the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Yeah, whatever. Tactical time dilation, recharge time. So this is a good combo with slow the world. And pack mule. Oh, that's good. That's basically two and a half strength right there. Uh, we might pick that up. <clears throat> ammo stock on vendors. Okay, more ammo. And base armor rating. 
So we are far less likely to get murdered. This is a good question. Getting more XP seems like a good choice. Running around faster. These, there are a lot of good ones here. A lot of good ones. Wait, I think we're just gonna pick up only five. Yeah, only five. I don't think we're gonna go with more XP. I think uh, I'm just gonna do a lot of murdering myself. Vendor prices. There are a lot of good ones here. Yeah, we definitely don't want to go with the damage alone. If I only pick up five, then it might be like uh, health. Uh, I don't know if we want to go with slow the world. This could be an okay combo. Carrying capacity. Base armor rating. I don't know how big of a, a, a role uh, trading plays in the game. But if so, then like at least the negotiator could be colossal. But toughness alone uh, could allow us to put ourselves in harm's way more and not die. One thing that I don't know is how much health I got. I don't think we can check. Oh yeah, we can. Current max health. It's 550. So I, I assume uh, base health means our current max health. And we might get modifiers like plus 50 health or something like that, but... If we pick up that perk, then we're just gonna get 200... Wait. It almost feels like that we can put more points into it. Is that true? Uh, okay, let's just apply it. No, no, no. I think we can only go it once. And instead of 550, we got 825, which is gonna help us not die should be a big deal in this uh difficult playthrough all right saving Ooh. i'm hot turn and i got a spaceship oh thirst all right you're thirsty and you need to drink in supernova difficulty, you must drink every few hours to prevent uh, dehydration. Consuming a non-alcoholic drink will clear you your thirst and prevent dehydration for a few hours. Without drinking, your dehydration will get worse over time in four stages, reducing your dexterity, perception, and intelligence at each stage before eventually death. Kind of makes me a little thirsty. Sounds good to me. Uh, do I have anything to drink? If not, we probably gotta score that. Uh, they probably have the good stuff in town for Captain Hawthorne. Anyway, guys, I think this is going to be episode one. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to just finish this game and have a lot of fun with it. And I kind of want to explore this ship. All right, see you guys next time.